Okay, so I've been hearing the harp sounds. Um, these are not foghorns. They sort of sound like a foghorn and or a truck, a diesel truck idling. The pitch changes basically. I think they're doing this slowly to indoctrinate people to this hum sound. The hum sound basically, I believe, does not allow uh, the person to um, go into REM sleep so that the people are more suggestible in their daily life. So, yeah, that's what we've got going on. And I believe it has something to do with these towers. And then plus the sprays, the plasma skies, uh, the metal particulates that are now inside of all of us and or uh, nano computers that are sprayed via the jets that they claim are normal contrails. This to me looks like all artificial metallic particles and so these metallic particles are not billowy at all. They don't have much moisture to them and so that's why another metallic particles and here we have some fog on the bay and you can see there's a gap in the fog a gap in the fog I would think the fog would be one complete area rather than having gaps in it <clears throat> so basically uh, last night I got very little sleep I was trying to uh, figure out some sort of jamming device that would jam the frequencies or the hum yeah, there's a guy who's actually done this research on it found that people all over the world are hearing this hum and so I was trying to figure out a way to jam the hum with an FM uh, receiver, transceiver, and I was unable to. I think it had a placebo effect to some degree um, with white noise, but yeah, so I believe that the frequencies they're emitting uh, also may have suggestion to them. They may be um, sort of like a, what do they call it? Scalar uh, frequency. Every emotion has a frequency. Um, anger, fear, compassion they all have frequencies and these frequencies that uh, that they are emitting are uh, frequencies that are uh, the frequencies they want to program the people and so the other thing is <clears throat> we had pretty much overcast skies yesterday we have a lot of overcast today but once again, this is all artificial overcast. And tomorrow, <clears throat> or today, tonight, we're going to have record low temperatures. So I believe what's, what has happened is basically these people who are, um, have blasted us with these frequencies last night are basically 
uh, pounding our immune system. If we don't get the sleep we need, our immune system is compromised. And then they're orchestrating a record low temperature tonight and today, this evening. So coupled with compromised immune system from the uh, and then the record low temperature and then who knows what they're spraying they could be spraying anything biological weapons testing research um, so that's the thing you know it's like they could be testing anything and the reason why they're testing it they're researching it whatever is they can profit off people being sick think about it uh, the late the late Bob Beck had comments on uh, why they wanted people to be sick and uh, the pharmaceutical industries could profit from people who are being sick and so there are a lot of motives here okay so these clouds they are actually moving back and forth these are what I call digital clouds they are moving back and forth they are not moving any particularly what particular north or south. They're moving back and forth, staying in one place. We have wind, but these clouds are moving back and forth, basically staying in the same area, moving back and forth. How natural can that be? These clouds are simply moving back and forth. Approximately two second intervals. You can see we have some wind. But yeah. moving back and forth that's all they're doing digital clouds <laughs>